We're here at Cousins Tackle. I'm a little excited. I get to play with fishing rods for the day, take a tour here with Charlie Albright. He's gonna give us a tour, tell you about Cousins, what they fish for, how long they've been doing it, how they make these custom made, uh, handmade rods here in America, here in California. Charlie, I'm excited to be here, man. Thanks for having us come out here, the Real Language team, and just go ahead and tell the, tell the viewers about these wonderful rods and the things that Cousins Tackle's doing. Yeah, we make all these rods right here in Huntington Beach, California, start to finish. We make our own blanks. We wrap the rods. We use high quality components, Fuji or Alps. We make our own grips. Every hand grip is pretty much handmade, so I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, attention that goes into detail of, of these rods. We like to use the highest quality parts and components to make the highest quality rod, because we, we wouldn't want to fish anything else, so that's what we're all about. Yeah, that's exactly right. I'm so thrilled to be on the Cousins team, get to come out here and play with the rods. We're gonna go out to the, uh, out to the warehouse, we're gonna show you how they make them again. Handmade rods, wrap each guy the way that they come out of the, uh, the oven, basically, right? Yep. They wrap them up, and again, these, these, this is quality here. And we're gonna show you how they do it with Real Anglers, Cousins Tackle, and the Real Anglers Fishing Show. Let's take a tour. Let's go. Let's go. So, uh, this is where it starts at right here. This is pretty much the yep. goes. Uh, these are two of our six books of our patterns of how we cut material to make a blank, which is your uh, base part of your fishing rod. We have about four or five different graphites and a couple different fiberglass materials that we use. A lot of your bass rods are going to be all graphite, whereas your heavy duty saltwater rods like your cow tuna rods or yellowfin tuna are going to be all fiberglass. And then your kind of offshore bluefin tuna out of San Diego or, or sturgeon up out of uh, Northern California, you'll use a composite, which is the, the mold of both together. Basically, these books each have patterns in them that we cut the material out of to make those rods. We don't make one pattern and cut it off the bottom or cut it off the top. We make an individual blank for every style rod we make, and we have over 350 different rods now. So this is one of the most important parts of building a blank or the starting process of building a fishing rod is when we tack on the material onto the mandrel, the initial point of contact of the material onto the mandrel is very important. It needs to be straight, there can't be any bumps in it, it can't lift at all, otherwise um, you're gonna, the, the blank will break like a toothpick. So uh, what he's using there is kind of like your iron at home, uh, it heats up the material and the resin and attaches it to the blank to give it a solid connection for when we roll it on the table next. Uh, this is our, one of our many rolling tables that we have here at the Cousins Factory. Uh, these inlaying the next uh, patterns into the blank there. about to pull, put on a pull tab to add some extra strength at the bottom of the blank to when we pull that blank off once it's done cooking uh, that it won't actually shatter up the blank. It gives it a little strength there at the butt. That piece will be cut off at the end of the process when you build a fishing rod. We're here in the wrapping room. This is where all our rods get wrapped. Uh, the next room next to us is the painting room where they get finished. Uh, all rods are hand wrapped here at Cousins Tackle by our fabulous wrappers. And uh, we'll show you some action here of how they do it. So you can see, literally, it's sewn in, handmade. So when you're fighting that big trophy fish, start it right here. Sewn in for detail. Putting the love in it. So you can see she's hand wrapping each guy. Not all the rod manufacturers do this kind of stuff, but again, the quality that Cousins tackle, this is what they do. You know, it's a little bit more, but again, they say the cheap man pays twice, and you can see why 
they go the extra, you know, give that extra love and so in each rod with care. Manufactured perfection. We're here in the finishing room. Uh, and this is kind of what sets Cousins Tackle apart from a lot of other fishing uh, rod manufacturers. Uh, it's, the, it's the finishing process. It's where we put on our hardening resin over the thread that actually holds your guides onto the blank. Uh, it's a very important process. Uh, there's a lot of companies out there that try to speed up this process to get their product out to the market faster. Typically they do that by using two fast coats of resin and they either solidify it by UV or by heating it up. What we do here is kind of your old school custom way. Three slow coats and in between each coat is 24 hours of, of spin dry. What that does is it really allows the resin to sink through the threading and attach a solid connection between the the guides and the blank. Uh, it also prevents the rusting of the guides because once if you do it the other way, the, the too slow coat or too fast coat way, then it allows salt water to get in under the foot of the guide and it'll corrode the guide and that's where you get the rusting. We have a limited lifetime warranty on our rods due to this factor because Realistically, we believe that they're made with the highest quality components and made the right way to where they shouldn't break on you while fishing. So uh, Charlie's gonna get a little bit more in depth, a little up close about the rods that we've seen out there being handmade. Again, you can see the love in these rods, the quality hand woven rods made right here in America, as you got to see. But he's gonna give a little more detail about what Cousins does, what they do, and get, get you up and close about the handles and the guides and things like that. They make it high performance when you're out there fishing. That's what counts. Right, Charlie, tell me about what we got here. So on this raised rod, we have a kind of combination of grips here. We have our high-grade cork that we get from Portugal. We have a cork rubber rings and EVA. Uh, we have a Fuji reel seat. I mean, it's an all graphite reel seat, very lightweight. We have a, a Cousins blank here with a clear matte finish. And uh, we have the Fuji aluminum oxide guides with uh, the black stainless steel frames. Uh, this is one of our composite uh, rods here at Cousins Tackle. Uh, it's a CJB 75 ml, it's 25 to 40 pound. It's a great offshore stick for sea bass, yellowtail, tuna, uh, dorado, anything in Southern California. You can use it for rock fishing, for halibut. It's very strong and uh, it's not going to hurt your back. That's Fuji Real Seat, Hypalon grips. We shape our own Hypalon. It has Alps uh, guides. So as you can see, really again, I'm going to say it over and over again, the quality and the time that it takes that they put into the rods at Cousins. I'm super stoked to be on the team with Cousins, man. You can see a lot more of their gear in action on the Royal Anglers Fishing Show. Like clips like the Average James are going to be doing on the gentleman. Make sure you come out and try them out for yourself. Put these in your hands. Give it a try. You know, catch that trophy fish on a cousin's rod. And I guarantee that when you leave, you're going to want to make sure you have one or two of these in your arsenal. And I'd like to thank you, man, for having us come out today, man. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Yeah, man, a lot of fun. We've got to go out there and see what else we could uh, play with before we leave. Just thank Cousins Tackle with the Royal Langers Fishing Show. And uh, again, support, you know, support American-made products. I know I do. The Royal Langers. Let's go.